Chapter Five: Trapped. Come on! cried Annie. Jack raced behind her. Were they being followed? Here, quick! Annie dashed toward the door of the hallway. She pushed the door open. The two of them stumbled into a dark, cold room. The door cracked shut behind them. Give me the flashlight, said Annie. Jack handed it to her, and she switched it on. Yikes! A row of knights right in front of them. Annie flicked off the light. Silence. They aren't moving. Jack whispered. Annie turned the light back on. They're just the shoes, Jack said. Without heads, said Annie. Let me have the flashlight a second, said Jack. So I can look it. I can look in the book. Annie handed him the flashlight. He pulled out the castle book. He flipped through the pages until he found what he was looking for. Jack put the book away. It's called the armory, he said. It's where armor and weapons are stored. He shined the flashlight around the room. Oh man! Whispered Jack. The light fell on shiny breastplates, leg plates, arm plates, on shelves filled with helmets and weapons, on shelves spears. Swords, crossbows, clubs, battle axes. There was a noise in the hall. Voices. Let's hide," said Annie. "Wait," said Jay. "I got to check on something first. Hurry," said Annie. "I'll take just a second," said Jay. "Hold this," he handed Annie the flashlight. He tried to lift the helmet from a shelf. It was too heavy. He bent over and dragged the helmet over his head. The visor slammed shut. Oh, I forget it. It was worse than having a five-year-old on your head. More like having a ten-year-old on your head. Not only could Jack lap, lift his head, he couldn't see anything either. Jack and his voice sounded far away. The voices are getting closer. Turned off the flashlight. Jack's voice echoed inside the metal chamber. He struggled. Struggled to get the helmet off. Suddenly, he lost his balance and went crashing into other pieces of armor. The metal plates and weapons clattered to the floor. Jack lay on the floor in the dark. He tried to get up, but his head was too heavy. He heard deep voices. Someone grabbed him by the arm. The next thing he knew, his helmet was yanked off. He was staring into the blazing light of a fiery torch.